Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small video on how to boost your FPS on Outrider game. Uh, they just released a brand new demo that you can play on Steam. Uh, the game feels a little bit like Division and Gears of War, and you can maybe a little bit of Remnant too. So uh, it feels good, and honestly, I think uh, we will have a winner when the game will be released. Uh, also, it's running well. Uh, it's taking a lot of resources on my uh, GPU, and my GPU is going at 74 degree, and normally the maximum of it is 68 uh, when I play a video game. So look at your temperature when you're gonna play this game. Maybe you will have some throttling, so really important. Uh, so let's go with the, some window setting that you really need to make sure that are properly set. So the first one is the game mode, right game mode in your search. Make sure that your game mode is at off, really important. Uh, it's causing a, a little bit of stuttering and you will lose FPS. The Xbox game bar, I recommend to disable also this. Uh, you will lose FPS and uh, also sometimes it's causing stuttering, the Xbox game bar. And remove all those overlay that you're currently using, the one from Discord, AMD, NVIDIA. Really make sure that you don't have any overlay when you play this game. After that, in the capture section, make sure that your background recording is at off and your recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend that it's very important, make sure that you update your driver. Nvidia just released brand new driver for this game today. So really make sure that you have the latest version. Normally you can get five to 6% boost in your FPS. And I'm pretty sure AMD will release something soon. Another thing that you can do in Windows is write GPU, open your graphics setting, and make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. On the entry level and mid range computer, you can get 3 to 4% boost in your FPS with this feature. On high uh, end computer, normally you will not see any difference. Maybe a little bit less like a latency input lag, but not more FPS. Uh, last thing, if you're playing on a laptop, make sure that you're using a proper energy plan. So, for an example, go to your control panel with NVIDIA. Go to manage 3D setting and make sure that your power management mode is at maximum performance. And also I have other uh, video about it, but you can change it in the windows. So the energy plan, make sure that you're using something like balance or high performance uh, because sometimes or whatever reason people are playing on, on the laptop and when they plug in in the wall, the computer stay at echo mode. So uh, you really need to use like a, a, a the balance mode or the uh, high performance mode because you want like the best boost clock for your GPU and the best boost clock for your CPU. So that's about it. Now let's go inside of the game. So now in the game, uh, I will show you what to change to make sure that you have the most of the FPS. And honestly, this game looks really good. And when you decrease your graphic parameter, parameter it's not that bad uh, if you look at your image quality. So I'm really impressed, honestly. The, the game is a demo, so it just released. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have like more patch to optimize the game, but it's running very well. So first of all, go to display. Really important to play in full screen. Uh, I saw a couple of difference uh, between window and borderless. I was using like two to three percent in my FPS, and also I had like a lot of stuttering. Uh, for the resolution, make sure that you're playing native in this game. Uh, so for me, it's 1080p. If you have like a 2K monitor, go with 2K. Resolution scaling, uh, this one, it will be like a last resort after all the guide if you're still not get whatever your objective is, if it's at 60 or maybe 30. <laughs> uh, you can definitely lower this, but this is really last resort because your image quality will decrease a lot. And I don't recommend to downscale under 90, honestly. This is pretty much a maximum that you can do. For VSync, I'm putting this one off. I don't want any input lag. Uh, you can FPS limit if you want, so if you want to limit at 144 FPS because you have a 144 Hertz, you can do it. And for the field of view, I'm playing at 90 because I always play my game at 90. After that, display. The first one that uh, you need to look at, it's the effect quality. When you change it, you will not necessarily see an increase in your FPS right away. You need like to fight to see it. Uh, this is pretty much um, when you like your... Uh, you're using your gun and stuff like that when you're fighting. I saw a 3% difference for each bracket. I'm going at medium because between medium and low, I saw a difference like 1.5% in my FPS. So I feel like medium is a good spot to go. For the texture quality, I'm using Ultra. It's really depend on your VRAM. If you have like 4GB of VRAM and more, you can definitely go Ultra. 
high 3 gig and more 2 gig at medium and less than 2 gig go with low shadow quality this is pretty much the most important uh, parameter in this game if you want fps if you go ultra to low you can gain like 10 percent in your fps so really important and it's not uh, necessarily very important in the game like the shadow so just go with low and you will have a lot of fps Anti-aliasing, this one is a little bit tricky. I didn't see a big improvement if I compare off to Ultra. I got like a boost of 1%, so that's weird to me. Uh, I feel like I is a good spot to go. I'm seeing almost the same boost Ultra to I than Ultra to off. And honestly, the, the anti-aliasing in this game is not that bad. It, the game doesn't look too blurry. Uh, but if you don't like anti-aliasing, you can definitely removing it. But right now, uh, it doesn't really impact your FPS. So that's really weird to me. Post process quality, this one I'm putting at uh, low. Uh, you don't have a lot of options. Normally, uh, you can like change your bloom, blur, and stuff like that. You have a lot of different options. I feel like they put everything in post process quality. So that's why I'm putting this one at low. Uh, I feel like my game is a lot smoother and look better. And also, if I compare ultra to low, I'm getting a nice 8% boost in my FPS. So it's a pretty decent uh, boost. View distance quality, this one also will give you a lot of FPS. If I compare ultra to low, I'm getting like a 10% boost. But low for me, it's a little bit too short. So that's why I'm going me with medium. I'm getting a nice boost in my FPS. And I feel like uh, I can see my enemies and stuff like that object. Uh, it, it's pretty good at medium. You can even go at high if you want to see a little bit further. But uh, ultra takes a lot of resources, honestly. And the last one, foliage quality. Again, I feel like medium is a good spot. If I go to ultra to high, I'm getting 3%. High to medium, another 3%. Medium to low, I'm getting 1%. So that's, that's why I'm going with medium. Uh, I don't really care about the 1% boost. And I still want some good image quality when I play. So that's about it for the graphic parameter. If you have any question, guys, just can come in in the YouTube section. Really important, look at your temperature. Uh, this is the first time that I see my video card at 74 degree. I uh, was really <laughs> like impressed. Normally, I'm at maximum 68. So if you're playing this game on a laptop or something like that, maybe you will have issue with throttling. So really important, make sure that you have like a good ventilation and a proper temperature for your GPU and CPU. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.